Hi everyone, Amanda Lane here, talking about chicken and chicken prep. Okay, so I have, um, today is my last lunch of my, um, I think I prepped on Friday or Saturday, and I did ground turkey breast, zucchini, and uh, sweet potato. So today what I'm going to be prepping is chicken and uh, spaghetti squash. So... I have three chicken breasts. It was like a family pack. It was like, yeah, I, got, I think I got it on sale. It was 6 or $7 for all of this chicken, which is great because, like, this will be, you know, this will be four, this will be two, this will be four. So what I did was, is I thawed it all out, and I, so I just put my, I laid them out on the tin foil and I beat them um, with my knuckles. I don't, I don't have a meat cleaver, otherwise I would have used that, but it's kind of fun to get your hands dirty. Um, at least I do. I think that about cooking food. Um, so I pound out my chicken. I preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Um, I pound out the chicken in the pan on the tin foil, which I've sprayed with a non-stick cooking spray first. Um, and then I seasoned with garlic powder, onion powder, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and some dehydrated um, chives, which look like this you can see that it's just lighthouse and then you if you can focus there you go instantly fresh herbs kind of deal so um, and then I used onion powder nothing is too fancy um, just so for a lot of great flavor garlic powder and then I used this brown liquid you see um, and in the bottom part is I just put Bragg's Aminos, um, which is a soy sauce alternative, and it has um, 12 amino acids in it. I think it's 12. Uh, Gluten-free. It's delicious, and I use it to season. I used it to season my um, turkey as well. Delicious. So what I'm going to be doing is folding this over and making like a packet. And I'll let that bake until um, it's white all the way through. Um, since it's thawed, it's going to be uh, probably around between 20 and 30 minutes, depending on um, the chicken. But that's my chicken prep, and I will show you what it looks like when it's done cooking, and I'm going to start my spaghetti squash. This is what it looks like right before it goes into the oven. If it, yeah, it focuses there. So it's just a nice, neat little packet. A, it's good because it's going to keep the moisture in um, and kind of steam the chicken while um, it's baking the chicken. And the second great thing about doing a packet is that it's a lot less cleanup on the pan, so we're saving you even more time. Okay, so on to spaghetti squash. Now that um, our chicken's in the oven and it's cooking, I have taken, this is what a spaghetti squash looks like. Um, if you're like me and you had no idea what spaghetti squash was, what it looked like, how to eat it, how to cook it, um, anything like that, this is what it looks like, yellow, oval shaped, um, it is stringy inside, like a, kind of like a pumpkin, not as soft as a pumpkin, um, but you can roast the seeds, and I will show you how to roast the seeds, um, in just a few seconds, um, so this is what it looks like. It's with your other squash. Today I found it next to the acorn squash and the butternut squash. So it's just where the squash is. I know that kind of sounds silly to say, but if you're new to this clean eating thing um, and kind of switching from pasta to alternatives or just trying anything new, it's a little overwhelming. So I'm trying to be as specific as possible. Okay. So I just took a knife. This is the knife that I used. You can use a French knife that's a little longer, um, but I sharpened this bad boy up and it worked just fine. And I just sliced it down the middle and it came out. Well, I cleaned it already, but just slice it down the middle so you have two equal halves. Um, and then I just used a soup spoon, nothing fancy, once again, um, to scoop out the middle portion. And the middle, when you scoop it, like, it looks like pumpkin guts. That's what it looks like. Um, and I'm going to season it with a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of pepper. 
Okay, so now we are salted, peppered, herbed. Um, you can use, I didn't actually use the garlic salt. Um, I decided not to go that route. I did um, garlic powder instead. Um, onion powder, pink Himalayan sea salt, and some black pepper. Um, just to make it nice and tasty as it's roasting. So what you're going to do is this is a... Just a cookie sheet that I have with some tin foil over the top. I have sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. I'm going to place the squash on its face. Let's see. Just like that. I'm going to bake it. I'm going to bake it until when I push on this, it's squishy. And when I push on this and it's squishy, that means it's done. And I will show you how to... Um, take it all apart. Quick awesome bonus, I have, these are spaghetti squash seeds. And I have um, scooped out the middle of my spaghetti squash. So um, if you like a crunchy snack or you like something on top of your salads, um, you can really use these in any facet as a snack. Um, if you're doing 21 Day Fix, this would be an orange container for one serving. Um, a little bit of non-stick non cooking spray and some garlic powder and some pink Himalayan sea salt. I just kind of shook them up. I'm going to bake those. Um, and I, put, I left a little bit of the guts in, if you can see the yellow part, because I like it tastes good when it's crunchy. It's... Um, Spaghetti squash and pumpkin are a lot alike. Not in the flavor, but in the stringy and in the seeds. Um, delicious. Okay, so this is my chicken, which I have cut into to make sure it's all the way white through. Which it is. Which, it smells so good. And then these are my squashies. And I put the chicken in about 10 minutes before I put the squash in. So, so how you do it is, uh, so this is squishy. I pressed into it with a spoon and when it was in the oven to make sure it was cooked. Um, and it was. It was squishy. Um, and you can tell that it's nice and steamed. So how you do this is, I would wait for them to cool a little bit more so you can actually hold them. But you just take your fork and you just break it apart and see how it kind of breaks up into spaghetti chunks, like noodles. And you just peel, 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 peel until it's all the way all the way to the very edge. You can see I'm doing this with one hand, sorry, it's kind of turning on me. But you see how you get this noodle-like consistency? Oh, it's so good. And all this um, Himalayan sea salt and garlic and onion, pepper all mixes in. I mean, you can eat it right out of the squash. Um, I've made stuffed squash before and I just... Um, you cook the squash, and then you cook all your ingredients that you want in it. Um, I use broccoli, chicken sausage, um, peppers, carrots, and I put some mozzarella cheese over the top. Oh, so good. Um, but I can, if you guys want me to, I can make a tutorial on that um, after, on a different day when I make another squash. Um, but I can do that sometime this week if you guys want. But you see how it's spaghetti squash. And then you just... Twirl it on up, and there's your spaghetti squash. Pretty delicious. And all of, all of this was in real time, so um, the only thing that was time consuming was waiting for it to cook. Um, but I literally, you know, it took me, I started at 11, it's now 12.30, um, and I have, I have four, four or five lunches um, ready to go for the week. So I'm going to let it all cool. I'm going to um, put it in containers. I'm going to put uh, one or two um, containers, or one container of spaghetti squash, maybe one and a half, and then I'll do half a green of um, spaghetti sauce, and I will do one um, container of red, so that's one chicken. Um, and I'm not going to put the cheese on yet. Um, I will put the cheese on when I'm getting ready to cook it. Um, throughout the week and I might not even use cheese because I don't um, use cheese a lot because I, I like to um, use my blue for something yummier like avocado or 
avocado. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or want me to show you anything, um, how to do anything else, just let me know and we can um, get going on that. All right, guys, have a great Thursday. Bye. If you found this video helpful, uh, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, um, and I'll have more of this kind of video coming out soon. All right, bye.